a spotlight. I can do a spotlight. I'll try and keep it a bit shorter because I've been babbling on for a while. But my spotlight is bounty hunters. We don't need their scum. Let's look for Alf. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bosk. Yeah, make Bosk. a little cameo Bosk. there. There you go, Bosk. I I really like, as part of Star Wars, the bounty hunters. Um, and what it is about the bounty hunters I like, apart from the fact that they all look really cool and have cool weapons, cool armour and everything. The, the Empire lineup. The Empire lineup, right. But it, it's the... Star Wars not only is a space fantasy, but it's also a space, a sci-fi western, a space western, mm. and and I like westerns. I like watching like you know things like um, the old Clint Eastwood movies, or you know some of the modern ones that come out, Three Ten to Yuma, and all that stuff. And uh, Blazing things, Saddles, having <laughs> Blazing Saddles, classic. But having things like bounty hunters in the Star Wars universe, like it yeah. just gives it a whole nother element, you know. Um, I, I love some of the stories that are even um, from the uh, um, expanded universe. Like, Boba Fett is my favourite one. Right? Mm. Okay. But, of course. But, as you said earlier, um, some of the stuff they've done with showing his background has kind of ruined him a little bit for me. And he was meant to be... Um, you know, he's always billed as the baddest bounty hunter in the galaxy. Then you've got the Clone Wars, and I like Aura so and, uh, and then you've got Cad Bane. You know, and Cad <laughs> Bane is cool, right? Now, yeah. there's this whole thing that has been said for a while, and I really hope this happens because I hated that, oh, because uh, Boba Fett's a clone, we've got to change his voice to make him sound like uh, Django. No, because... He lost his dad when he was 10 and then went off around the galaxy with other people. His voice would not have stayed the same. It would have like, changed. You, you know, when I was a kid, I'd pick up other slang and stuff that other people say the way they say it. And, well, you, you were know... really posh in Amersham. Was I? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I mean? And, and uh, I hope they go back to the old, it's no good to me, dead voice, like that old one. And what I want to happen is that Old little... Bullock. Old Jeremy Bullock. The, the old... Um, Thing that they, uh, they that people have been talking about is that Dread Pirate Roberts thing. That oh, at yeah. some point I want little Boba to get killed, and someone, someone else, else take, over. take over. And whoever that is is a real badass. Well, he's the one cool. that kills the little lad. Right, or yeah, maybe not a little lad. Maybe he's, well, a, bit yeah, older. he's a teenager or something. But at that point, he he takes on the name. And I want him to be like a real... He's, he's the, the Boba Fett that we've all heard about, this legendary Boba Fett. And he could be like someone that, you know, is already hanging around with, uh, I don't know, Cad Bane and those guys. Um, but I, that, that's what I'd like to see happen. And I love that story in... Um, it's Tales from Jabba's Palace, I think mm, it is. Yeah. It's where he crawls out of the Sarlacc and then Dengar finds him. And we don't see enough of Dengar, right? But Dengar finds him, helps him get better. Now... This is what I was talking about with the books, because in Aftermath, there was something about some Mandalorian armor pitted and damaged, like as if it had acid melting it, and it's where the pit of Carcoon was, right? Is that, yeah, is that right? Yeah. So, um, so I'm like, ah, oh, man, like, so, like, okay, it could be that it just burped up his armor, but I like to think no, because it's got enough acid to melt it. I like the idea that he's crawled out, and if they ever do a Boba Fett movie, which I would like them to do, I would like them to do it where. He's After Jedi. Out. After Jedi. Where he's crawled out. Um, and I'd like it to be um, more of a Western type of movie. Like, you know, going after the bounties. Well, do you remember world. like the uh, classic uh, Judge Dredd? You know, when he was on the Cursed Earth and he was mm. the other character. Mm -hmm. I can't remember that character. Was called. Yeah. I am rubbish today. But he was that whole other character, wasn't he? Yeah. Because he'd lost all his suit and he was just trying to travel across the cursed earth. Yeah, I mean that was amazing. That That'd was really cool. cool. And you know, that... like with with Fair, he could he'd have more than one suit of armor. You know, so yeah. get him to sl uh, slave. Well, you can have and... a different one. We well, can have a different one. I mean, I, I, you still want him to have the Mandalorian armor. You still want him to have that because that's that's Boba Fett and that's how he's recognised. And I do think he'll have more than one suit anyway. Um, but. You know, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see something where if they did a movie like that, you'd have other bounty hunters come into it, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. where it could be, a, it just has to be a really simple story. There's nothing wrong with simple stories, you know, and it could be 
bounty A, bounty hunter B is going for it, and yeah. all the other ones are trying to get it too. And yeah. that that's the story. And when I talk about the old um, uh, uh, Clint Eastwood movies, you think about things like The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, The Man With No Name trilogy. Yeah. Um, Clint Eastwood's the main guy, right? But he doesn't yeah. talk a lot. He just says a few words every now and again, but it's his presence. Mm. And that's what you've got to do with Boba Fett. I know people are like, oh, it'll be hard to root for him because he's a baddie. No, he's not. He's a bounty hunter. He's not a yeah. baddie. He's, he's whoever pays me, right? He's a bounty hunter, which yeah. we've had old westerns about those types of characters before, and you root for the main dude. So, you know, it doesn't have to be these going after Han Solo because you're like, oh, Han Solo's a hero. Like, look, Han Solo's a scoundrel. Let me just tell you, he shot Greedo under the table. Greedo didn't even shoot his gun. So, um, you know, he's he's not a good guy. Han Solo's not a good guy. He's just as bad as Boba Fett in a different in a different time of his life, doing different things, right? Yeah. He yeah. would. He would. He, he smuggles, man. He's like, you know, he's. They smuggles. could. They like could have bumped into spice Boba Fett spice and paid him to to take them, couldn't they? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, look, there's so, there's so many things you could do with bounty hunters. I think you could have, and this is why... But they don't good. want to soften them up, though. That's the thing. I, and I don't, yeah, that's why I don't like seeing too much about the backstory. And that's why it might be nice to get it after Jedi, because he kind of went out like a bitch, right? Mm. And Indeed it's like himself. screaming, right? And it's like, come on now, let's let's say... Okay, he was killed dude, by a blind man. Right? But this dude drags himself out and then we have some story that shows why he was considered such a bad guy and that was just bad luck right but um you know with standalone movies going in different directions you could do like an old spaghetti western type of star wars movie and it would be so cool to have that you know instead of horses you've got like speeder bikes and stuff and there's so much i i like just have this vision in my head about what would be cool and it's like i wish i could see this happen um on the big screen i don't know if we would but they did mention that han solo movie is going to have a bit of a western feel which could be quite cool um but yeah so my spotlight is bounty hunters that's one of the things i've always loved about star wars their ships are cool there's so many different types of characters um you know and then you've got like places like jabba's um palace and the black yeah. sun and all those kind of guys and you know all, this, all the black this, sun. yeah yeah and, you know, you've got, yeah, and then Shadows you go, of the Empire. Yeah, and when you go into somewhere like um, Mos Eisley Cantina, a hive of scum and villainy, and there's all these different scoundrels hanging around in there. I mean, come on, how much fun would it be to see a whole yeah. movie about that stuff? Like, well, that, I, I, I mean, that was the genius of George Lucas. He, he just lessons. he created a world. He created well, well, a universe. And just in one scene, completely opened up a whole new avenue of storytelling, if mm. you want to go down that route. And yeah. the, the core saga films didn't do that. They no. stuck to the main story, but they've opened the doors to all these different types of, of stories that could be told. And if you, look at, if you look at Star Wars overall, like you've got like a military side of it, you know, like with the Imperial yeah. Navy and all that. You've got um, all the mystical side of it with the Jedi, like like yeah. ancient Japanese monks, like yeah. samurai, you know. And then yeah. you've got a whole swashbuckling as well. You've got, as well. You've got it all, right? It's got all the different elements in it. And so with these standalones, it's so exciting that they could actually go and make a movie. And it's a Star Wars movie, but it's it's going to be a, a Wild West movie. Yeah. Or, it, you know, it's going to be a pirate movie. Because, again, with the Bounty Hunters, you could do a pirate movie. You know, like you could have that um, with the bounty hunters and the smugglers and stuff like that. So you've got so many different types of things. If you look at something like, um, uh, what's the Johnny Depp one? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, that kind of film. You could do that in space with a different type of character. And you've yeah. got like, like with you your the mate, British with Navy your mate and rebels. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, you know, the, you could. So there's so many things you can do, and yeah, yeah. Bounty hunters for me always. Excited, and, I, and I do. I love this guy. I love Bosk. I think he's very, very. Have cool. you like, have you played Trandoshan. him on um, Star Wars Battlefront? Yeah. No, because I stopped playing that about a month after I got it. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends on social media. And why not leave us a comment below? Let us know what you liked about the show, what you didn't like, but most of all, let's just all be part of one conversation. Until next time, may the force be with you.